today we've got a very fun video for you. The Utility Iron Battle Royale, as Kevin Kraft is calling it. Six new Utility Irons here in 2023. Kevin's gonna test all of them from a variety of brands. We'll show you all the TrackMan data and tell you everything you need to know. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like and tell us if any of these Utility Irons are in your bag. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined today by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter at Columbia here in the Twin Cities in the tour van. Fun video today, a lot of golf shots for you to hit, but uh, it'll be worth it because we'll get a ton of information, a ton of data for the viewers. Six utility irons in one video. Um, new utility irons for 2023. The Stealth UDI from TaylorMade, the Titleist T200, the Ping Eye Crossover, the Tour Edge Exotics C722, Shrixon ZX Mark II, and Mizuno Pro. So, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's a bouquet of awesomeness. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a lot of people out there that don't like hybrids. Yeah. Okay, there's a lot of people out there that want to flight a ball down off the tee, or maybe yeah. they play a course that they've got some shorter holes. There's all kinds yeah. of options. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, th these are all kind of in the last couple of years or so, because uh, some of them are recent yep. and some of them are like maybe back into 2022 a little yep. bit. But yep. I think ultimately these are kind of that you go into the fitting bay at second swing and you're going to find these models. Yep. Um, I mean, in what in the testing you've done, is there anything you might predict for this test? Or I guess what do you, you know, going into it, what are you kind of thinking may happen here? I have no clue. Okay. All right. That's, yeah. that's the best kind of test. You it's, don't have any uh, ideas. I've, I have a two driving iron yeah. of a previous generation of one of these, okay. um, which I am a fan of. I have a, on order, a two driving iron of a model that is not in here. Oh, okay. Um, unfortunately, we don't have that, I don't believe. Might have to do a little digging around to see okay. for sure. Maybe we'll throw it in. Yeah, have it in my store. So oh. it should technically mm. be here. Okay. okay. We'll have to take a peek. Um, but yeah, so look, it's, uh, I don't know about you guys, but if I'm standing on a long shot over water, I don't want to look down at a butter knife, right? And three irons look like butter knives yeah. to me. So these have a little more beef to them, mm -hmm. a little more meat, a little more, oh my gosh, I can maybe even hit this thing pretty solid and yeah. hit it over the water right. kind of feel to yeah, it, yeah. right? They look more helpful, mm -hmm. they look more forgiving, more confidence inspiring. Yeah. So we just need to put these through the test and see what exactly happens. Right, yeah. exactly, exactly. So we've got kind of sort of the stock offerings in the shaft, mm -hmm. um, you know, stiff shafts. Yep, um, some graphite, so, some steel. Some, yep, so yeah. that's kind of gonna be a mix and match a little bit, but they're all the three iron lofts. Yeah. So there might be some stock at say 19, some at 20, mm -hmm. but um, roughly in that range. So it should be a pretty good test in terms of what is offered with each model. Yeah. So and only um, one of them is adjustable. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Um, and maybe we'll tinker around with it today. We'll see. Maybe so. If, if we need to. If we need to. If we need to. But um, that's a lot of shots we got to hit. Are you ready to get warmed up and get going here? Absolutely. So, what kind of numbers are you looking for in a? three iron three utility iron you know like because i know you don't really play one but yeah um the two for me would be 240 ish probably roll out okay um yeah not looking to get a massive amount of trajectory out of it um just want something that's gonna be i can swing away at and hit pretty straight right so we would have done twos if we had twos for everybody but yeah, we yeah. only had threes so right. uh just to make it all fair and mm -hmm. stuff um so yeah i'm okay i'm basically hit it hard try to hit it down the middle chase it out see what we get yeah yeah a little thin okay just a little thin doesn't really look like it okay that's I mean, fine not smash would, as smash thing. would indicate it, but yeah, there's a, a good measure of forgiveness. Yeah, the and through slot speed pocket. Consistency of spin. Yeah. yeah. That might cook left. I thought it looked like you really went after that one. Yep. And you did. Okay. A little extra speed on the swing, but look All at right. the, the that's, one four nine smash. Yeah, so that's that was hit. It was hit good. It was maybe just a tiny bit closed. 
But yeah, I mean, I mean that's that's fine. That's, that's pretty I mean, explosive. That's gonna be yeah. That's gonna be totally implied. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So we got so, four shots. Yeah. No, that's good. You got four shots. Yeah. Stealth UDI. Um, here's the averages. I'll bring up the dispersion circle as well on one side here, just so you can put it quickly. But okay. that's the last one that cooked a little bit, which yeah. is totally normal for that's that fine. to happen. Yeah. I don't have one four six match, thirty two twenty two spin. I mean, I mean, pretty good numbers there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for somebody yeah. that really doesn't spend any time with these things, I, I gotta say this uh, the stealth UDI feels yeah. really very good at impact. Very yeah. responsive head, feels nice and stable. This uh, stock ascent shaft, 90 grams. Yeah. Seemed to hold up well, loaded nice, Okay, felt good. I got, there's not a negative to be found on this. There you go, that's yeah. a good thing. Uh, yeah. So a good first step here with the stealth UDI. Next club looks like Titleist. Yeah, let's do the T200. Titleist T200, I'll get you set up on here. Now talk to me as you're kind of setting up with that. Um, how does that look compared to the So stealth? this looks a little more, a little more iron like. Yeah. Does not quite look as smaller. Yeah. It's uh top line is definitely thinner on this, which yeah. I am sure is gonna appeal to a lot of people. Um, looks like it has a little less offset maybe than the UDI. Okay. The UDI, one of the things I liked about it was it framed up really well. I like to see a little bit of offset in there. Yeah. So uh, this has got maybe just a touch less, but it's a nice looking golf club. Sure. Uh, stock shaft here, we got the hazardous smoke RDX black. Okay. Another good low launch, low spin shaft. So uh, let's see what we get here. Okay. I definitely heard a different sound at impact. It was a different it's sound at impact, like, for sure. It was almost like lower pitched. Yeah. Like a, more of a th low, like thud. That turned back a little bit. Nope, a little hanger. That's okay. Okay. That's okay. It's dressed it a little bit right. Yep. It's all right. Well, so I was, yeah, I had a, I had a peek at the dispersion here, what it looked like before that last ball. So uh, I'm showing it on the screen now. So okay. this one on the right was the last ball you hit. These yep. three were the first three. Uh, so you had it, you really, I mean, that was it's still really good overall. It's yeah. Just, you had it really cooking here in those first yeah. three. Um, numbers, quickly. A little less spin. A little bit, yeah, less spin. So it was actually not as, you know, efficient on the strike yep you swung a little faster but it was uh actually lower ball speed so that kind of made it less efficient uh but the lower spin kind of brought up those that the total distance there and yeah. carry actually so i kind of felt as if that one was going to be a little less forgiving just based on you know the aesthetic looking down from the top yeah that thinner line doesn't necessarily you know it doesn't mean it's not going to be forgiving but it certainly doesn't look as forgiving yeah um, sure Feel wise, the sound translated into a little what I felt was a little bit firmer. Yeah, I, I uh, kind of kind of that's what I envisioned your response would be to that. Yeah, just a little bit firmer. Um, but yeah, I think I mean clearly yeah. that's pretty darn good. It was it was know. good. I've got no I got no complaints. Sure. I got no complaints. So is that the is that the Cobra? This is this is our our seventh. Yes. Yeah. So in our six club. So we did find club number seven. Yes, um, we so did. we had. You know, obviously we have these utility irons to fit with that are bonded yep. to the club head with the shaft. The Cobra as being adjustable, um, we had the fitting head yes. separated in a different location than the fitting yes. base. So we found this one, we're adding it to it. So now it's actually seven utility irons in one test. It's so bou it's bouquet year. Yeah. Now even yeah, it, yeah. A, a more <laughs> awesome bouquet. Yeah, bouquet bouquet. I said it once, bouquet year of awesomenesser. awesomenesser. Yeah, I yeah. think that's, I think that's right. Yeah. I like that. That's yeah. um, Grammar 101. This one will not be adjustable at retail. Uh, okay. It's just adjustable for shaft fitting, options. Fitting and shaft yes. options purposes. So. Okay. Oh, wow. Hello, ball speed. Yep. <laughs> And wow. <laughs> All right. That was good. So that was good. So here's the map. 
two right away, kind of over to the right here, which had yep. the kind of in the mid 3000 spin. You had the sort of the one that turned over that dropped mm -hmm. the spin a little bit, but helped you in distance. And then you kind of found that happy medium here. 3,200 spin, 223 carry, which has to be, I believe, the farthest carry so far. If I can go like this and if that confirms it. Okay, nice. Um, 241 total. Okay. That was... Uh, you can go to the map here. Good. Club head speed the table. Yeah. came up a little bit. Very efficient. efficient. was you know, almost what we had with the stealth. Carry yardage, six more yards. Total distance yep. long like the T200. Mm -hmm. Launch in between. Landing Steepest angle. landing angle so far. Okay. Which is worth noting given the yeah. type of club it is. Yeah. Also I, the highest, 94 feet in the yep. air. Yep. So I think just the combination of more speed and more spin mm -hmm. is driving that one up a little bit higher with steeper yep. landing angle, despite not being necessarily the highest launch so far. Does make it a little more forgiving. Yeah. With yeah. that extra little bit of spin. Good. There you go. Um, All right. Yeah. That was, so we've got that three down, good. seven yep. to go. Seven to go. Sorry, three down, four to go. Math is you trying to kill me here? here. Not gonna no. I, I I wouldn't make you hit that many clubs. Is this one the ping eye crossover? This is That's what the it looks ping like eye cross. Here. I have not. Truth be told, I have not hit this yet. All right. Well, you there have are in a your few hand. things. There are a few things still dangling out there that I have not had a chance to hit yet. Okay. Everything kind of came in in a big flood. And right, right. I'm You're still trying, trying to catch to work up. my way through some of it. So. Well, you had it in your hand. Tell me now. What do you think about how it looks? It looks good. It's got more offset. I have okay. no problem with that. It uh, looks good. I mm -hmm. mean, it's a it's a nice looking driving iron. Ping's gone through some different iterations of their right. driving iron, yeah. and some of them have not been so pretty, and some the, of them have been pretty good. The so. G, the from twenty like sixteen was like this big, it was and huge. I had it in the bag. It was what? I had it in the bag. Did you? Yeah, I did. All right. Well, forgiveness, right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Very forgiving. Yeah. I, could, I hit it off the tee so many times. Yeah. It was great. Nice. nice, uh, nice. This one's definitely a little more appealing to you. Yeah, this is really clean. I like yeah. the black finish. It, it just it looks yeah. good. It frames the ball good. Uh, I like the shaft they've got in it, that mm -hmm. Kylie White. So uh, I'm expecting good things. Oh, yeah. That one was hit really solid. Oh, my. That I think that's our new high solid. for carry yardage of the day. That's the new high for carry total. <laughs> we just keep resetting it every time. Yep, yep. See, what, see what we can get on that. I like that one a lot. That was good. This is getting disgusting. Oh, that's good there. Wow. That's good there. So. Look at, look at the spin on the eye crossover in the stealth. <laughs> 32, nice. 22, 32, 22. Nice. Uh, so the ping um, making a very grand entrance into the test here. Indeed, indeed. There's our dispersion circle, farthest one up the map. Uh, and then you look at the numbers on the right. The highest ball speed, the highest smash factor, the highest carry distance, the highest total distance. We have crossed 240 total on average. The highest landing angle. Um, the Yes, the steepest landing angle, and I believe the highest, yes, highest yeah. peak height. Um, that's a solid entry into the test right there. And what did you think of the sound? Very good. I thought sound, I thought it was, I thought, cause I thought was it was right, to me, it was right in the middle of, yeah. So I remember we noticed the difference between the Stealth and the T200 yes. right away. Yeah. I thought it was in between those two. Yeah, I, I absolutely agree. Responsiveness was good. I mean, I hit this one well, but coming off the center of the face felt fantastic. Yeah. And it's adjustable, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Kind of cool. All right. Uh, that's that's a pretty high bar. That's that is a very there. high bar. All right. Next club. Okay. Tour Edge Exotics. All right. C722. Well, that felt fantastic. That is a solid first shot. Woo! That's that's very solid feeling golf club right off the bat. That, I think that's the closest one so far to to the center line. Oh, very good. Yeah. So accuracy is uh, yeah, that matters. Kind of a good thing. Yeah. It matters a little bit. Yeah. 
That might get to 140. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah. We got a couple more shots here, but. I've always been a, f a fan of exotic stuff, yeah. right? <sighs> to me, some of the newer stuff has kind of, kind of ebbed and flowed a yeah. little bit, um, sound wise, sure. especially. Um, what do you think of the sound of this one? I think it sounds great. Yeah. It's, I think it's one of the better sounding ones right off the mm -hmm. bat. And also that, again, that auditory response, it's passing right into my hands. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, hello. We got 250. We got to 250. Woo! Oh my. Okay. Wow. So I wanted to actually mention one particular shot, um, if I may. You may. It's this one here. Okay. The leftmost shot of the day. Yes. But the spin stayed up over 3,000 at 3288. Which probably kept it from getting from further. Correct. That way. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of just wanted, like, it's, I think it's a good thing to see it mm -hmm. not, like, dive out of the sky and still yeah. maintain, you know, yeah. even though it was the yeah. leftmost. And obviously we can look yep. at this guy up here at 250.9 yards. Um, so we have... A lot of things working for us with this club. And then we can also bring up the numbers here. And we're getting a little bit faster. Now, granted, this is also more efficient. So yeah. 147 to 148. So a little bit more ball speed. Spin was almost identical to the eye crossover. And a lot of these clubs, really, that 3200 zone is pretty much where it, you're at. It with really the exception is, of the yeah. T200. Yeah. Um, and there's a little bit more total. And uh, height-wise, though, it was a little bit lower on average than the eye crossover. Yeah. So yeah. the landing angle dropped back down four degrees here, or three and a half degrees. Yeah. So, um, all right, a couple more left here. That felt really good. All right, so the Mark II ZX. Yep. Appearance, look. Good, clean. Um, you can see a little bit of the back here, but okay. it's very reflective, so it kind of like shields you from like seeing too much of it. Okay. Uh, Looks good. Okay. It's, it doesn't have. It doesn't look like it's got quite as much loft as the other one. Yeah. The other is it one not is quite as lowest. large as yeah. the tour edge one? Yeah. Yeah. I think size wise, I think they're about the same. There's just okay. a little more back end to that. Got ya. Yeah. Wow. Club head speeds up there, but the ball speeds not really. Yeah. Not really hanging in there, is it? Total's not bad though. It's just it's, it's getting out it's, there. Total. It's just getting it's, there a different way. Yeah. That was hit solid. Yeah, that's a good ball. That sounded pretty clean and yeah, that one was well struck. Clean. Okay. Interesting. All right. So that's the ZX. So a Mark mix II. of spin rates for sure. Yeah. Definitely. Kind of. Yeah. The, the spin rate was it's a high deviation number there. Yeah. Uh, had a couple low and a couple higher. Um, but translated to, I think, one of the higher launch angles yes. at 14.6 and uh, the peak height, if I scroll there, works here, 93, 93. feet. Um, just not quite as efficient, maybe? A little yeah. bit kind of yeah. inconsistent maybe, on might the... Be, might be the user, but it didn't... It just never quite felt like the ball speeds were... Sure. ...were as good. Yeah, because it was... Yeah, I mean, we've been up near 140 with a lot of clubs, yeah. and this one was kind of in the mid-130s for the most part, except for that last ball, so... Oh yeah, that sounded pretty hot too. That was pretty good. Yep. Yep. That was nice. Oh yeah. But then you come back with that and everything's good in the world. <laughs> yep. I think there is something to what you were saying about maybe the heavier club not quite yeah, turning I over think as much. I, I think you're think seeing a little harder to turn, the tendency to sure. be out right a little bit. Yep. Yep. I thought it hit that one pretty good too. Okay. Interesting. Maybe a little thin, but maybe. You know. Definitely did not feel like this one was this was probably my least favorite of the group. Okay. But I think a lot of it was the shaft. The shaft just <laughs> yeah. being that different. Maybe I don't I don't I would not play a steel shaft in, yeah. in a driving iron. Yeah. So uh we we're so, a little bit behind the eight ball from the get go. Right. On Perhaps 
the, yeah, maybe for this test, you know, and whatever. Yeah. We, could, we threw it in there because we had it. Yep. And no, so, and might as well um, hit it if we got might it. Might as well. So we I have like a lot to, of... I'd like to do one thing. Yeah, let's do if it. You will, if you will humor me. I will humor you. I would like to go back and hit this one again. Okay. Reason being, if you look at the club head speeds... For the viewers, he's got the stealth. He's got the else. stealth UDI here. Yes. So. Yes. Um, so the club speed is what you're referring to. Yes. Okay. Yep. I would just like to see because the numbers are good there. I'd yep. just like to see if if I can still maintain my club head speed. Yeah. Um, I'd like to see what it does with. Fair enough, because I think I think that's definitely something people would have seen. Yeah. In the numbers, yeah. and they'd be like, "Well, the yeah. stealth wasn't up there because of your speed." So we yeah. can hit four more here, and we'll kind of. Okay. Uh, or three more, or we'll kind of bring that average back up. God, I really like the look of this thing. Yeah? Yeah, it just looks really good. There we go. Oh. There we then. go. That's kind of what I thought might happen with this. Yeah. Kind of what I thought just 247. Might yeah. Not the longest of the day, but. but long. Still long. Okay. All right. Okay. So now it's fair. Let's talk over some data here. Did I you say take... taco? I, I, I think I did. <laughs> let's taco some data. We got a lot of lot of swings in the '90s here. That's good. That's yeah. good. So, um, I mean, where do you want to start here? What do you want? To, what, how do you want to go through this? This is so a lot of data. Let's break. Spin this all rate down. stayed very similar to what we saw last time. Should same club. Yeah. Okay. Uh, club head speed came up to be more where we were with everybody sure. else. So that's all I really wanted to see yeah. with that. Um, 148 smash factor. Hmm. Okay. Right there with the exotics. Yep. We can kind of order these by smash factor and just see how, yeah. in terms of efficiency on the yep. strike, here's kind of more or less the ranking, right? Yeah. Um, the stealth UDI is up there. Exotics C722 is up there. That's probably a club. A lot of the viewers, when they saw that club in the test, they probably would not have put Probably Exotic not. Exotic C722 up there I'm, in the 140s. I'm not sure I would have either, but, uh, but you know. At 140 ball speed, um, mm -hmm. I mean, those two clubs are kind of the, the hottest of they the, of the bunch. They absolutely are. No doubt about it. Um, there's two yards difference in carry. Yep. Uh, That's, it is Exotics crazy. rolls out a little bit more because it goes a little lower. Yeah. Landing angles, I think the steepest with the, with the uh, stealth. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Stealth, I crossover, yeah. Mizuno Pro. Um, club path stayed pretty consistent throughout. T200 was a little more from the inside, but everything else was pretty good. Yeah. Attack angle, pretty similar. <laughs> nothing, got, nothing got very high or low there. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. That's, you're just doing some good testing there. I mean, that's, I have to also mention the spin rates. Yeah. So, I'll, so many consistent, I mean, I should say consistent, but like they performed very similarly, which yeah. they should. They should, yeah, um, absolutely. 3517 with the Zeno Pro fly high, and that could be, that one was, it's, it's just a little bit different based on the shaft. Um, we saw that it yeah. was the one of the steepest landing angles and most spin, so potentially just a higher spinning kind of a steel-ish shaft there yeah. could be part of that. Yeah. Um, but 3338, 3323, 32-26, 32-22, all the way across the board, very similar yeah. with that stretch of, of utilities there. The Shrixon, uh, a little less consistent on that spin. T200, just a little bit weaker in terms of distance. Mm -hmm. um, but something to note there, just the spin rates, how consistent all these are. I yeah. wanted to bring that up. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we kind of saw some clubs emerge that we really didn't expect to. Yeah. Um, I'll bring up carry distance here. That's probably one we should make sure to note and put in order here. So, stealth. Three definitely separated themselves by yeah. by a little bit. There. Yeah, for sure, for and sure. They're all, and they're the, all right on top of each other with all about the same spin, all about the same smash factor, yeah. all about the same club head speed. Yeah, it's just that these. I think really these three. You kind of can. You can if you. I think generously you can throw ping into that group as well of yeah. these three. But yeah. these three are kind of just on their own compared to the rest. Yeah. Stealth UDI Tour Edge Exotic C722 in this test and ping I crossover. Yeah are just a little bit more explosive than the rest of them. And it's interesting because the I cross and the Stealth UDI were two of my two of my favorite to look at. Yeah. And my least favorite to look at 
may actually be my favorite overall in terms of feel, sound, yeah. and, and performance. Which is a two reg? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, I, I think Just, that, so the other weird thing about that one was, so we feel like those three are the most explosive. Yeah. The ping and the stealth, yeah, crossover and the stealth, in terms of the flight, were very similar. High enough, over 100 feet on average. Mm -hmm. The tour edge was very low. A landing angle under 40, a launch angle at 12.6 compared to 15 on the other two. I still tell you, it looks like it's got more loft than anybody and else. So that's, yeah, I, yeah. there's something a little bit, it's like a lower launching, penetrating, kind of lower, not even really lower spinning, but just lower launch to that tour edge. And the average peak height was 87, whereas the other ones were 100. Or over 100 on these ones so but i didn't sacrifice anything really in carry there no with it that's the no that's the kicker yeah it's just getting there a little bit of a different way but yeah. really good performance out of it interesting any other yeah. feedback i mean that's kind of you know the battle royale yeah you, you had three men standing yeah seven seven enter three men leave is that, is that how that went with? with I, I think Mad technically Max? Battle Royale is only one man oh, leaves, okay. but well, you know, eh, yeah. three. Yeah, that's close three, enough. Sure. Because we're not, we're not. I mean, it's player dependent, so you yeah, come into a is, fitting. It is. Well, and your fi sound. and your fitting only one will emerge victorious. That is correct. So, um, the but, the stealth, interestingly enough, looks the flattest. Okay. As if it would like maybe, a shallowest. May, yeah, maybe yeah. maybe launch the highest. Okay. Um, it but actually did, I believe. It looks Close. powerful. Like it's got a little thicker top line, but it's not offensive. Yeah. So it really looks it looks like a very powerful iron. The the eye looks like it looks like a very nice forgiving ping golf club that's gonna serve you very, very well yeah. across your golfing adventures. And this guy looks like something that, you know, you you're gonna have to take a chance on and trust that the numbers are good, but it felt fantastic, mm -hmm. um, and the numbers were awesome. And yeah, if you can, if you don't mind seeing a little bit of the back end, yeah, it's it's not going to bother you at all. Hmm. Well, I think maybe two or two or one or two of these clubs, I think people expected to be in sort of the top yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would say most commonly, Tour Edge Exotic C722 might be one that people didn't, but. Yeah. Either way, you got to get fit, and maybe one of these three you'll throw into your mix with it's, maybe another one that you wanted to it's test. It's one to throw in. But I think it's yeah. it's really one to test. So definitely. Definitely, uh, golfers, definitely. come get fit for that utility iron that you're looking for. Um, and whether it might be, it could be a two iron, it could be a four iron. In this case, we tested three irons. But in any case, we have a bunch of different options for you to test. Someone like Kevin, one of our fitters, can take care of you, give you all the TrackMan data, and give their insight and interpretation of that information. So, Kevin, thanks for... Hitting all the shots. It's a lot of golf shots you hit. Absolutely. No, it's, that's that's so, fun. This is this is uh, this is good information. I got to hit some clubs that I hadn't hit yet and see what they what that performance was like. Mm -hmm.